Welcome to the No Name Quiz Show. I'm your host, Maxim. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Israel-Palestine conflict. That's crazy. Winter, give me your opinions on that. <laughs> Welcome back to the No Name Quiz Show. My name is John, John Darniel, the lead singer of the Mountain Goats. With me is a very special guest. He's seen Trek too many times to count. Maxia. <laughs> now, this is a very special one. We're breaking a little bit of the rules. I'm going to ask you random questions that I asked my friends to come up with, which is supposed to be the pilot episode, but, uh, you know, things change. Yeah, we can improve our own formula. Sorry to cut you yeah. off. No, take it again from the top. No, no. This is John Darniel of the Mountain Goats <laughs> hosting the No Name Quiz Show. I came up with the first question by myself. I was very, very proud of it. Question one. How are you? I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. Correct. Question two. If W was a color, what color would it be? Oh, that's a good question. No, because W, w is a silly letter uh, because it's... No, because it's not even a double U. It's a double V. Uh, oh, so it's got to be a color. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, it's got to be mauve. It's got to be stupid. i lock it in. Final answer. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Question three. How many toes do you have on average? <laughs> oh. I think the answer is ten. That is correct. Question four. Have you ever pooped your pants? <laughs> that's a great question. Um, that's surprisingly relevant. So, <laughs> I went to Applebee's, like, last week, and I did not shit my pants, but... You sharted. I, no, I didn't. You think I'm going to go on camera and tell the good people of the United States of America that I sharted, because I didn't shart. But I was... So, I was... I needed to shit so bad on that drive home from Applebee's that I was wholly convinced I was not going to make it. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Question five. How does a cow go moo? How? Yeah. Why? Why? What? Oh, why does a cow... Oh, okay. Um, no, why does a cow go moo? Uh, why, why, why do we need to know? They have secrets. That is correct. Question six, what's your favorite band? Ooh. You know, you've been telling me I've been correct this whole time, but I think the wrong answer is Neutral Milk Hotel. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Question seven. Do you like how they mention semen, like, a lot? <laughs> yeah. Question seven, what is the best tasting flavor of floor? Oh. Okay, so I was actually reading about this. This is not a joke. So there's this weird thing where some things you can like touch them and know what they taste like, and you can do that with floors. Um, like every like 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 a big like rubber tire, you just kind of know what it's like to put a rubber tire in your mouth. Yeah. Um, I would say probably a laminated wooden floor that has not been like walked on before, like it has to be new. That's correct. That's correct. Question eight: What's your favorite political revolution? <clears throat> Um, can it be the new revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain? Yeah. Okay. I'm really good at improv. Question nine. Fingers or toes? Oh, t no. To toes is the horny answer, but fingers is the creepy answer. I'm going toes. I'd rather be horny than creepy. Okay. Question ten. How would you home alone your house? Would I? I would... So, um, if you mix bleach and ammonia, which are two common um, household cleaners, uh, they produce a very toxic gas. Which can Is this my camera? Yeah. So they produce a toxic gas known as mustard gas, which will be fatal. Um, so I would just make a lot of mustard gas and not live in that house. So people would be like, oh, no one lives here. I'm going to break into it and immediately die from the war crime I just committed, because it is also a war crime. That's correct. Question 12. Mm-hmm. What is the definition of the lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch? The definition? Yeah. Um, that is, you know, I came here thinking you were going like, to give me some softball questions, but, oh boy, the, the answer is my mom when she calls me fucking fat. 
Okay. Okay. I, I'm I'm 180 pounds. It's normal for my height. Question 13. Do you feel guilty about what happened in the Nam? Okay. I didn't do it. Question 14. Do you have nightmares about the baby too? No, but I have been frequently having nightmares about losing my teeth, which babies don't have. Oh. It's like what is it? two things, yeah, mm -hmm. two different things. Question fifteen: What would be the last, the best kind of living furniture to have protect you in a fight? Living furniture to protect you in a fight. I'm gonna say a human toilet, because just everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, this is fucked up." Like that's just gonna stop the fight. That's correct, that's correct. Question 16. Do you like your hair? Why would you ask that? <laughs> why, why would you get mean? Uh, yes, but I'm worried it's receding. Been there, been there. Yeah. Question 17. How do you think you would hide a body if you were drunk versus if you were sober? Like, like my methodologies? Because I did learn how to hide a body from a mortician recently. Um... No, if I was drunk, I would go through all the steps. I would, you know, you gotta bury them in a river, you gotta lay them down with cement, um, because you want fingerprints, you know, when you want a discernible features to deteriorate, if you have time, you gotta remove teeth, because that's how they identify the body. But the interesting fact is, like, if they can't identify the body, um, it's really hard to charge people with a crime. If I was sober, I would just strap a bomb to my chest. And then the body's gone. I forgot what the question was and realized I just threatened to blow up a public space. <laughs> that's correct, that's correct. Question 12. How many colors can Minecraft frogs be? Oh, I um, oh I'm not allowed to say that. Um, I'm going to say every color that can be perceived. That's correct. Question 19. What was the first number retired by the New York Rangers? Oh, oh that's a... That's a bad question. Fuck that question. Um, I'm still going to answer it, and that number is... You know what? Mankind is too important to care about these things. And it's just that on a jersey, and under it, it says... Um, Blit... B Bibble. It was Bibble. The gully. <laughs> <laughs> question 20. How many pennies do you think would fit in my mouth? <laughs> Can you open your mouth for me? It's got to be... Uh, it's gotta be two dollars worth. You could go to town on those suckers. <laughs> Question twenty one. Have you ever been tempted to live inside the freezer? Yes. Next question. That's it. <laughs> All right. This has <laughs> been the No Name Quiz Show. I'm your host, John Darniel of Neutral Milk Hotel. Uh, don't forget to keep singing about semen. Uh, beautiful America. You do win a prize because mm. you won all the answers correct. It's going to be Bert or Ernie, because you look like Bert or Ernie. <laughs> what the fuck? Here, you were like, oh, let's do a fun little quiz show. And you're like, hey, at Maxim, go fuck yourself <laughs> with your receding hairline. <laughs> do you have anything to shout out? Uh, I've been doing that the entire time, so okay. no. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. No one cares about that anymore. Who's mm -hmm. watching this? But, you know, really. You are. Yeah. Uh, all right. See ya. Bye. Bye.